Hello YouTube. Today I have a katana review, a Mushashi handmade katana, so to speak, handmade. Let's start with the unboxing. It's from uh, Yari no Hanzo. I think it's a Japanese company. It's probably made in China because this is an entry level katana. Let's continue with the unboxing. We have a more knife. And let's see what's inside. We have this thing here. And it actually has a stand. As you can see. Comes with this stand. Let's put this thing. Just yeah, after it's here. assembled, it's very easy to assemble. It looks something like this. So it's nice to have a stand to put so it comes your katana. This nice cloth. Has this uh, Yarin or Hanzo? I think it's uh, their logo. So let's continue. Okay, so this is the, the katana itself. It says Yarin or Hanzo. It has some specs here. It says Mushashi Practical Katana. Nagasa 69.5, I think it's in centimeters. Chuka says 28 Chuka, I think. I don't know what the Chuka is. The tuba, Fusashu, Moko, I think the tuba is the, the hand guard. And the basic for a practical katana is the steel, it's 1060 steel. It's yes, it's not the best steel around, but it's a steel that you can use for cutting stuff. Uh, it has this, I don't know if you can see the, the sheath, it's not called sheath, it's called it another has a different terminology. It's called, let's see how it's, uh, it's called, uh, Saya. Yes, the Saya is glossy. I can see myself here. And uh, looks nice. Uh, the handle, it's not, of course, uh, sting gray leather or uh, some other types of leather. It's, I think, it's some kind of fabric. But it's it's nice. You can see here the two pegs. It's a full tang blade. And let's make it try to open this up. Oh, it's kind of difficult to open it. Oh, at first it can be a bit difficult to open the actual sword from the handle because of this uh, kind of oil. It's used for lubrication. Uh, I have to clean it up with a. Now it smells like oil. So let's take this thing. White napkin. And clean it like that. We'll do it the other way around because I don't know how sharp the blade is. Uh, this sword is made in Italy. As it says here, Yarno Hanzo made in Italy, quality control. It's a Mushashi type blade, but not actual Mushashi. And as you can see on the cloth, it became dark. And let's see, it is sharp. Not razor sharp, but it is sharp. I think it can cut. So this is the Musashi practical katana from Yari no Hanzo. It says here that the Nagasa is 69.5 plus the Chuka, which is the handle 28 centimeters, plus the uh, finger guard, it's around a meter. Uh, it's made in China, as you can see here although it says that the quality control was made in Italy. So this is a entry-level katana. 
some basic things I can say to you right now from, from having just looked at it, I'm no expert of course in katanas, is the fact that it has the handle, uh, the, how is it called, the tuka, okay, is made out of wool. Now this could be good or bad uh, in terms of I know that katana, original katanas have uh, some sort of leather here from uh, E, from uh, some fish, I don't know, I will put it in the description below. Uh, this uh, could be useful or could not be useful. The other thing I can tell you right now is the fact, let me just turn this thing around, is uh, what's also going to be good or bad, the fact that it's difficult to release the katana from the sheath or the, I don't know, how is it called, the shaya. You have to put two hands. Probably this is because there was a lot of wax. Oh, just open it up. I cut myself, of course. You can see this, although I have wiped it off, there's still wax here. And you can see here, no, you can see. There's some residue here, I have to clean it up more thoroughly. Um, what else? It looks like a gold blade. Now, why do you buy a, a brand like Yarino Hanzo instead of a, a other brand like uh, Mushashi or Misahiro? Uh, or other Musha or other base entry level blades have found out using the internet. Well, there are two reasons for that. Uh, because, you know, this uh, sword costs quite some more money than an entry level uh, Musashi or Masahiro uh, sword. Uh, two reasons for that, for me at least. First, one, first reason is this down here. Uh, I wanted, uh, from the research I did in, on the internet, is that I wanted for my basic entry-level practical katana to have 1060 steel and not 1045. Uh, entry-level Misahiro I could find where all of them were 1045 st uh, carbon steel, not stainless steel. And the other thing is, uh, if you are living in Europe, you want to buy katana, a katana in most countries is considered a weapon. So if you are trying to import a katana from the United States or China or Japan or everywhere else, you will probably have issues with uh, custom service. Uh, it's not that it's illegal to own a katana, but you have to, it depends on the laws of every, every different country in the EU. And th that thing applies to most countries of the world apart from the United States. Uh, you have to justify the fact that you want a katana that's not just decorative, although this could be used like that, although, as, as I said, one uh, uh, difference from traditional katanas is the fact that, that I think traditional katanas have leather here. And as for the testing, now, again, it's difficult to open up, but it still has residue here. Uh, on the hand, it looks, it seems to me that it's light. It's not very heavy. And it's not razor sharp, but it is sharp. Uh, the thing here, how is it called? The Hamon. I don't know if it's real or not, probably not. But I, for me, it's most important. The, the, that when I buy something it's functional. When I buy a sword I want it to be able to cut even a very light target so I can display it and I'll say you know this is an actual sword and it's not stainless steel or something that you will swing around and will probably break on you. So now let's take a look at it again. I wish I could zoom out a, a bit more so you can see it as a whole. But uh, the other good thing is that it comes with a stand, as I said, so you can use it for display purposes. And I will probably soon I will do a test with some light target. I, I've seen on other stands that they do that, that clicking noise. Here it doesn't do that clicking noise. So we put it like this. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.